How should we approach the word problem? Step 1. Understand the problem. Read the entire word problem thoroughly. Visualize the problem. Anna and Lucas had the same amount of savings initially. Initially means at first. After Lucas received $360 from his uncle, he had four times as much savings as Anna. How much savings had Lucas at first? Now, let us draw a diagram to illustrate the problem. Who are the people involved? We have Anna, Lucas, and Lucas's uncle. How are the three of them connected in this problem? Anna and Lucas had the same amount of savings at first. Lucas's uncle gave Lucas $360. As a result, Lucas's savings is now four times that of Anna's. We have to find the amount of savings Lucas had at first. Now that you have understood the problem, let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. Choose a suitable method based on the relationships among known and unknown quantities. From our diagram, we can see that there is a comparison of two quantities, Anna's and Lucas's savings. We can draw a comparison model to illustrate the relationship between these two quantities and use it to solve the problem. From our diagram, we can see that both Anna and Lucas had the same amount of savings initially. So we can represent Anna's savings as one unit, Lucas's savings also as one unit. Now Lucas received $360 from his uncle, and as a result, he had four times as much savings as Anna. How do we reflect that in the model? We should add three more equal units so that the amount of savings Lucas has is now four times that of Anna's. Note that this also shows that Lucas's savings is three units more than Anna's. Now the amount received was $360. Where should we indicate $360? Where well, we had added the three equal units. So we use a curly bracket to indicate that three equal units are a set as they represent $360. Now, what are we to find? We are to find the amount of savings Lucas had at first or initially. In a model, we indicate the quantity we are to find with a question mark. So, where should our question mark go? It should be here. Now that we have devised the plan, let's proceed to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Work out the solution as planned. Take a look at this section in the model. We can see that 3 units are equal to $360. So we write 3 units equal $360. So 1 unit is $360 divided by 3, and this gives us $120. Have we solved the problem? Is the solution correct? Let's proceed to step 4, a very important step. Step 4. Check back. Verify the result or answer. Let's verify our answer. We are told that Lucas and Anna have the same amount of savings at first. That means Anna should also have $120 at first. Let's check that out. After Lucas received $360 from his uncle, he would have $120 plus $360. This is equal to $480. This amount is four times that of Anna's savings. So, Anna's savings would be $480 divided by 4. This is equal to $120, which is the same amount of savings Lucas had at first. This is correct.
Now let's write the statement. Lucas had $120 at first. Well done. We have solved the problem.